guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, that was one hell of a vacation. I just got back from Bora Bora and I had a lot of time to think and I'm thinking to do something really cool. Obviously, it's a car project I want to tell you guys about. And I can't wait to drive my cars and my favorite car, P1, is the first car I'm going to take out after vacation. And last time I drove it was bouncy and I had the mechanic come from dealer, check it out. And he says, my tire pressure is at 27 or 28 PSI which is causing it to bounce. So we're gonna put some air in it, and you know me, I probably need gas too, so. All right, let's do this. What I love about the P1, you get tucked in, holds you like a glove, but it's easy to get in and out of, Wait. right? Here we go. Where are you going? You know what, I may need it. I need my key. Yeah, well also we need to move the 4GT. What? <laughs> All right guys, I got too excited. I gotta move the 4GT first. <laughs> I drove this car for extended period of time was a McLaren event up in the one country and I think I put a couple hundred miles on it had a blast but it was bouncing the whole time and it was driving me nuts Woo! gotta warm up those brakes too all right let's put mobile I like mobile better than Chevron I don't know maybe because my first gas station I tried to buy and got con was a mobile gas station. You know what? Maybe it's better I go on the other side because I think the air compressors are on that side. Yep. That, that you need some fuel. Oh yeah, where's my gas tank at? I forgot. It's on your... Uh, it's on my left. Yeah. All right. Now, all these cars, you know, you get confused. You know, I better stop doing those pull-ups. These seats are getting too tight. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Only 11 gallons fills it up. Now, that's gotta be the cheapest refill I've had in any of my supercars. And this is California, so what is it at right now? Sixty-one dollars. Yeah, sixty-one dollars and sixty-four cents. Very nice. All right. Let's go. Oops. Let's go put some air in it. We got gas. Now we need air. Yeah. See, it's twenty-seven. Hopefully, this makes a difference. I know. Uh, you know, only four or five psi would make the car that bouncy. I don't know. Or it could be I need new shocks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it's the tires. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is 25. You know, air used to be just a dollar, now it's two dollars. What? Talk about inflation, huh? Oh yeah. It's crazy to think like you don't have like a full-time like manager for your cars. I know. I need to hire one. Well, maybe at the new building. Yeah, you know, it wasn't that low, but we'll find out soon. What do you think? Should we check the coolant level too? <laughs> nah. Man, this was going back in the memory lane. I used to work at the Winston Tires shop doing this on a regular basis. Let's see if the bounce is gone. Whoa. You know what? It's definitely less bouncy. Yeah, <laughs> I hope I don't need shocks on this thing. It only has 900 miles on it. I don't think it would be the struts or the shocks. But the tires are five years old, so I may have to put new shoes on this puppy. Dude, but yeah, it's still a little bouncy. It feels more Let's, solid though. Yeah, you know what? Let's put it in the track. So it should be less bouncy, right? Yeah, track, track, track. Oh, okay, the tires are cold. on vacation had a lot of downtime a lot of thinking and obviously cars are my passion i was saying why not build my own car this idea is not new i've come across this idea many times i'm just so busy i don't have time 
and it's always been supercar fast futuristic it's by one of the famous bugattis bugatti type 41 which is a bugatti royale most famously known for they only made three of them it's such an amazing design it was built in 27 i think to 31 or 33 it's only for a few years a Vittori bugatti built that car but it's 21 feet long and it's just massive and it takes such presence and it's tall you stand like grand it's very grand and that would be something if i reach out to Remac, which is majority of our bugatti now and have a chat with them and see if we can make a one-off electric bugatti royale for the modern day mm. what do you guys think about that so comment down below um of course i can take any porsche or most any cars and just soup it up with mufflers on it with wheels on it tires on it but building something from 100 years ago and modernizing it but have the same look of the body that's something that hasn't been done as far as i know what do you guys think all right the tires are warm let's have some fun Definitely it's time for new shoes, being five years, so I'm gonna put new shoes on it. I'm gonna test drive it again and see if it gets rid of the bounce. But otherwise, hmm, it may be shocks or struts. But for all those you mechanics following me, comment down below, let me know what do you think it is. All right, now let's put that lift up. Now how much do uh, tires run for a car like this? I think last time was just a couple of grand. Not bad. <laughs> I mean, compared to Bugatti, 37,000 or 35,000. Right. Whoa, you see how bouncy it is? Oh, I may have lost a couple of shots. Oh man, that was fun. All right guys, the show's over. I gotta get back to work. The car is still bouncy, not as much, but I think it may need new shoes, maybe new shocks. But more than anything, I'm excited about the Bugatti Royale idea. Tell me what you think, comment down below. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, be safe, be well, see you guys next week. So I sold this for 40.7 million uh, two years ago, so I made about close to $12 million. Residential investors work longer hours for lower returns compared to commercial real estate investors. Contrarian Academy helps residential investors successfully acquire their first commercial property in six months or less. So there's a lot of pockets of opportunity where you can take great real estate that's located in a great location and repurpose it. While one state, for example, Houston that's heavily invested in oil and gas industry is experiencing a recession, you may have another state like California experiencing the economic boom. You don't really have to wait for a global economic recession to jump out and invest your money and buy real estate. Apply now by clicking the link below.